homeless man returns engagement ring to its owner, and her response is magical. There is definitely something to the old saying, what goes around, comes around. Sometimes, bad decisions will come back to haunt you, while in other cases, a simple act of kindness will be repaid in the most unexpected way. Sarah Darling and a 55-year-old homeless man named Billy Ray Harris experienced the latter and had a surprising journey worthy of a movie script. After giving some spare change to Billy, Sarah realized she lost her diamond engagement ring. Retracing her steps back to the homeless man, she unknowingly became a consequential part of a life-changing story. Sarah Darling lives an ordinary life in Missouri. She is the owner of Darling Yoga Studio and every day on her way to work, she passes a homeless man. One day, she decided to give the man some spare change. She dug deep into her purse and put some change in the man's bucket. Sarah then went on to work and continued her day as usual. Later on, when she arrived home however, she realized that her engagement ring was missing. Sarah never takes off her engagement ring. But that particular day she had a finger injury which made her take off the diamond ring and put it in her purse. When she arrived home, she searched for the ring in her purse but couldn't find it. Later on, she reflected on that moment of horror and stated that she felt horrible. It was a huge loss for her, as the engagement ring meant so much more to her than just its financial value. After calming down, she remembered that she last opened the purse to find change to give to the homeless man. She decided to retrace her steps. Sarah opened her purse only once that day. She assumed that the ring fell out when she grabbed the money to give to the homeless man. So, it seemed that's the logical place to start her search, and she went back to the spot the next day. She knew the chance of him still being there is slim, but she was desperate enough to give it a try. Upon returning to the place, it was evident that the homeless man was long gone. Sarah was devastated and had lost all hope when her husband Bill convinced her to look for the man once again. Two days after she lost the ring, she went to the same spot again and saw the homeless man. Sarah was thrilled. She rushed towards him, filled with tears of joy, and greeted him with a big smile. She told him that she accidentally gave him something of great sentimental value. The man smiled and asked, was it a ring? She was so excited by his answer. Clearly, this is where she lost the ring. But did the man still have it? The homeless man was 55 years old Billy Ray Harris who, for the past 16 years, had been living on the streets of Kansas City. He lost all touch with his family and spent his days panhandling for spare change. That day when Sarah Darling gave him some money, he noticed the diamond engagement ring in his bucket. Thrilled with this find, he naturally debated selling the ring. So, he went to the local pawn shop to have it appraised. The owner of the pawn shop appraised the ring at $4,000 and offered to buy it on the spot. You can probably imagine that this amount of money would mean a lot to Billy Ray, and so he was tempted to take it. However, when he realized that the ring could be worth a lot more to someone who was sentimentally attached to it, Billy decided to do the unbelievable thing and keep the ring. Billy waited until someone came looking for it and later recalled, I am not trying to say that I am no saint, but I am no devil either. Sure enough, someone did come looking for the ring a couple days later. That someone was Sarah Darling. When Billy saw the state she was in, he was more than happy to return the ring to her. The look on her face when she saw the ring made Billy Ray smile. Right there and then, he knew he made the right decision. Sarah reflected on this moment and said she was astonished by the honesty and integrity of this stranger. She was utterly surprised to find out there are still good people out there. That was just the beginning of the story though. Why was Sarah Darling's ring so important to her? Well, the ring that Sarah lost was no ordinary engagement ring. It was a family heirloom that Bill's mother left for his future wife. It was passed down for generations, and Bill always wanted to give this ring to his daughter one day. Although Billy Ray made a lot of mistakes in his life, listening to this story, he realized how important the ring was to her and realized one of the best decisions he ever made was not selling the ring. Sarah was surprised that Billy Ray saved the ring despite his situation. He was living on the streets and panhandling for change. If he had pawned the ring, he would surely have enough funds to last for the whole year or even more. 
Overwhelmed by Billy Ray's action, Sarah felt compelled to give back. She and her husband, Bill, wanted to find a way to help Billy Ray and repay him for his compassion. Sarah was eternally grateful to him for returning the ring, which was of utmost importance to her. In order to repay for his kindness, Sarah and her husband launched a fundraiser in the hopes to gather at least $1,000. The two made sure everyone heard about Billy Ray and his actions. They told everyone they knew and posted the story on social media. They gave interviews, talked on shows, and soon enough, the story went viral. Billy Ray became everyone's favorite hero. The story had so much impact that people all over the world showed gratitude by donating. The amount of money that ended up being donated would change Billy Ray's life forever. The initial idea behind the fundraiser was to provide Billy Ray with enough money to buy food and new clothes. When Sarah and Bill shared the story with their friends, most of them were touched by it and wanted to help Billy Ray. This gave them the idea to set up a GoFundMe page, and soon enough the donations started pouring in. We set the goal for $1,000, and we're hoping to achieve maybe $4,000, because that is what he was offered on the spot for the ring, Sarah explained. But the heartwarming story had a much bigger impact, and they never expected it to reach the heights it did. The story of Billy Ray Harris, the homeless man who returned a diamond ring, made national headlines. Most people didn't even know Sarah and Bill, let alone Billy Ray. But they were touched by the story and decided to donate to the cause. After three months of fundraising and over 8,000 donations, Sarah and her husband collected more than $190,000 for Billy Ray. This was way more than the humble $1,000 they initially planned. The two managed to get Billy enough money to last him a lifetime. Apart from the enormous sum of money, Billy Ray also received kind and warm words from donators. In life, what goes around comes around Billy. Your sweet actions, despite being dire straits yourself, prove that there is humility in the world. You are one shining example. Lots of love from across the pond, one donator from Britain wrote. Several others wrote to Billy and shared the letter online in the hope that their own stories would receive a similar happy ending. One donator said that his mother's ring was stolen from his house. He hopes that Billy Ray's honesty will encourage others to pay it forward. So, what would Billy do with all that money? After gathering the donations, Sarah and her husband went to find Billy to give him the good news. When they told him what people from around the world have done for him, and the amount of money they gathered, he almost fainted. He didn't believe it could be possible. Billy also said he doesn't deserve it. He thinks his actions should not be something extraordinary, but rather a common curtsy and general expectation. He was shocked by people's response, but even more, shocked by the state of the world nowadays. What I actually feel like, what has the world come to when someone returns something that doesn't belong to him, and all this happens, he said. Billy Ray become a local hero and celebrity in Kansas City. Most people walk up to him to shake his hand and congratulate him on a job well done. His actions became a true inspiration to the people around him. His honesty paid off, and karma rewarded him well with over $190,000 gathered in his name. If he had sold the ring for the miserable price offered to him, he would still be living on the streets. With this amount of money, he could actually get off the streets and start a new chapter in his life. With a fresh start and a bit more money in his pocket, Billy Ray talked with a lawyer who helped him put the money in a trust. He took just enough to buy himself a car and put a down payment for a home. The house is far from new, but Billy Ray wanted to renovate and fix it up himself. Just as he settled in his new home, luck showed him it has a few more tricks up the sleeve. Billy Ray Harris was homeless and begging for change a few months ago. Now, he is a local hero with a brand new car and a roof above his head. But none of this comes even close to the greatest gift of all. We mentioned before that Billy had no connection with his family. But apparently, his family was looking for him, they just weren't able to track him down and assumed the worst, that Billy Ray was dead. However, his new stardom made it possible for him to reunite with his family, who searched for him for the past 16 years. Seeing him on television, his brothers and sisters came to Kansas City to be reunited with their long-lost brother. Billy's youngest sister, Robin, lives in Texas. 
One morning she was minding her own business, browsing on her computer, when she saw a photo of her older brother. She immediately knew it was Billy Ray and didn't hesitate to reach out. Full of excitement, she found his phone number and made that call. Meantime, Billy also spent all these years being worried about his younger siblings, but had no means to find or contact them prior to this. So, you can imagine all the emotions he was feeling when he answered the phone. They talked on the phone for hours, and both were really happy and relieved to be able to speak to each other again finally. Billy Ray was extremely grateful that he got a chance to get in touch with his little sister. He was informed that there were rumors of his death. Seeing his photo on the internet made Robin's day. Later on, Billy revealed that Robin even placed a Craigslist ad in order to try and get any information on his whereabouts. After reaching out, Billy speaks with his family every day and can't wait to meet with them again. Little did he know, the world was still listening and had another surprise in store for him. NBC News, which followed the story from the beginning, decided to give Billy Ray one more surprise. They invited him, Sarah, and her husband Bill to share their experience once again. The trio talked about community involvement and the relationship that came out of this simple act of kindness and honesty. But, while Billy was talking on stage, the network had another surprise in store for him one that will leave him speechless. Before the show, the network had flown his entire family in for an emotional reunion. While Billy talked on stage, his family was backstage, prepared to meet him again for the first time in 16 years. The reporter couldn't wait to break the good news. After a few minutes of talking, Billy Ray was told that his little sister Robin is waiting backstage. It came as a shock to Billy Ray, but the reporter continued by saying that his sister wasn't there on her own. The whole family was there his older brother Edwin and his two other sisters Nellie and EJ. Billy Ray couldn't believe his eyes and couldn't hold back the tears. He hugged each one of them, but was speechless. With the siblings reunited on stage, they began updating Billy Ray on some big news, revealing that he is also an uncle to many nieces and nephews. Edwin stated that his eldest son is anxiously waiting to meet him. Nellie spoke about her children and how happy she is that Robin managed to find Billy Ray. Everyone was worried about him, and they thought he was dead. When the story about the engagement ring went viral, it enabled this unlikely reunion. It was a truly magnificent gift for which the siblings are eternally grateful. Billy Ray spent the entire show sitting with his arms around his youngest sister Robin. She was constantly crying tears of joy, while Billy Ray's face was a mix of tears and joyful smiles. One act of kindness repaid tremendously, and life gave him another chance. He's got a new home, he reunited with his family and he has a trust fund with enough money to help him get back on his feet. Despite being surprised by the NBC reunion, the siblings decided to reunite once again in the comfort of their home. Billy Ray lacked enough words to show gratitude to the people who helped him. He was a homeless man a few months ago, but now he's been given a second chance to get his life back on track. He thanked everyone for their effort and promised them that this blessing and kindness would be distributed further. Sarah stated that she is happy to see Billy Ray's life turn around. He deserves it for being such an honest and upstanding guy. Sarah's husband Bill said that Billy Ray is a solid guy and will do well with the funds raised in his name. After reuniting with his family, Billy Ray talks with them daily. He promised he'll never lose contact with them again. Along with his siblings, he also remained deeply connected with Sarah Darling and her husband. They made him feel like a human again, and their fundraiser allowed him to buy a new house, a new car, and brand new clothes. The couple got a chance to meet the real Billy Ray and give a name to the homeless man in the corner. The three meet up often, and the relationship is only growing stronger as time passes by. Bill and Billy Ray are now especially close. The two men have formed what seems to be a lifelong friendship. They often attend hockey and baseball games together, as both are sports enthusiasts. When they first met, Bill immediately noticed that Billy Ray is an upstanding guy. He just didn't have luck in life, which is why he's extremely happy with the amount of money they collected for him. I knew immediately that he was someone that was on the same wavelength as me, and I was looking forward to being able to go chat with him once in a while, Bill said. When they saw the amount of funds raised, 
Bill couldn't wait to tell Billy Ray of the good news. When the two eventually met, they sat down for hours. Billy Ray had to repair his bike, and while doing so, the two had a chance to get to know each other better. They took the opportunity to reflect on the whole situation and how it made them both better people. And the story continued to trend around the nation. With each passing day, more and more people have written to Billy Ray and commended him for his action. As mentioned previously, Bill and Billy Ray attend baseball games together. And interestingly enough, whenever Billy Ray was in the stands, the Kansas City Royals won their game. He seems to be the lucky charm for the local baseball team. He was also invited to Bill's birthday celebration. It is really interesting to see such a rare and genuine bond that came out of a simple act of kindness. Billy Ray is extremely happy to have such supportive friends and is forever grateful for the second chance he's been given. Sarah and Bill have two beautiful children, a boy and a girl. They constantly remind them of this story and are looking forward to introducing them to the man who saved their family heirloom. The story has a much bigger impact than anyone ever realized. It turned into a lesson in generosity, kindness, and karma. Sarah often talks with other parents about this and shares the story with their kids. It offers something really tangible in teaching the children between right and wrong. Billy Ray's good deed keeps on giving. For years, Billy Ray spent his days begging for spare change. This made him feel lesser than those around him. After the fundraising, he managed to turn his life around. He has a roof over his head, he's off the streets, has nice clothes, drives a new car, has loving and supportive friends, and he reunited with his long-lost family. He often reminiscences the past and thanks God every day that it's all behind him now. His generosity paid off, and as he once put it, he feels like a human once again. Living on the streets of Kansas City for the past 16 years made Billy Ray naturally skeptic. When Sarah and Bill approached him with the funds gathered via GoFundMe, he thought it was too good to be true. Later on, he admitted that he was scared to look at the fundraiser. But he was homeless, so any additional money would do him good. When he saw the amount of money raised, he almost fainted. But the most surprising part for him was the media attention he got. It enabled him to get in touch with his family after 16 years. Billy Ray decided to use this blessing and second chance the best way he can. He set some goals for himself and asked his friends and family to constantly keep him in check. He vowed he'll never go on the streets again and is talking with advisors on how to spend the money wisely. He is doing things he never imagined doing before. His primary goal is to catch up with his family and make up for lost time. He's in a good place now, and hopefully, he'll keep striving. Even with all the cash he had now, Billy remained humble. He decided to spend the money wisely and consulted with a lawyer, who gave him the tools to manage his money properly. He replaced his old broken bike with a new car to get around the city. Billy bought a black Volkswagen Beetle that he tweaked a bit to his liking. It is a 98 Volkswagen Beetle, which I kinda had pimped out a little bit. It's just an eye-catcher, you know?" Billy Ray shared. NBC News followed the story a bit further and managed to capture Bill and Billy Ray in his new car. In the video that was posted on NBC's official page, Bill is seen sitting in the passenger seat. Billy Ray is setting up the radio and is preparing to drive the car. Bill joked, I've heard he doesn't know how to drive. I guess we'll wait and see. Billy Ray laughed at it and joyfully exclaimed, liars. The two buddies then rode off into the sunset. With the newfound spirit and second chance he's been given, he started thinking big. Billy wants to be his own boss. When he started renovating his new home, he found his calling. He's thinking of starting a painting and house renovation business. He plans on getting a pickup truck, two ladders, a paint gun, other paint equipment, and some tools needed for house repairs. He just wants to do good for himself and those around him. The whole experience was a major boost to the 55-year-old Billy Ray. Billy Ray admits that the hardest thing to do right now is getting out of the homeless man mentality. When he was on the streets, he was thinking on a day-to-day -day basis. If he wants to start his own business, he needs to start thinking long-term. And learning that is a process for him. 
He admitted that he's still in the right here right now mode which is how he managed to survive on the streets. He was good as long as he had enough food, clothes, and shelter for today. Whatever happens tomorrow, happens.